In story mode, you're playing the game for fun. Work together to solve the crime and play the story you want to see. You ready for this? Of course I'm ready. Nice and easy. Textbook cop. What's the play? play. Vote for Vote choices for by moving your pointer inside the box. I'm thinking we walk right through the front door. Catch him off guard. Got it. Keep the lights on. Search for the clues shown at the top of the screen. Use your pointer to highlight the clues before the timer runs out. Some of these clues could help you in the future, so try to find them all.
really him. On my way. Hands up now! To shoot, move your pointer onto the target. Think before you shoot. You do not have to open fire. Hands behind your head, no sudden moves. Don't shoot! Hey! Don't test my aim, fucker! I am not gonna hurt her! Please help me, please get me out of here. Tracker came to a dramatic end tonight as police from the third precinct arrested their primary suspect, Jonathan Finn. Finn is wanted in connection with a string of grisly murders that has gripped the city and claimed the lives of first response police officers. More on the story as it develops. Ladies and gentlemen, the accused Jonathan Finn is guilty. Of that, there is no doubt. Your job is simply to determine how he is punished. This man, the so-called trapper killer, has terrorized our community with his brutal murder spree. Booby trapping his victims so our brave first responders became victims themselves. These innocent people were targeted for no other reason than to play out Jonathan Finn's sick game. Jonathan Finn has confessed to every single one of these crimes. I ask that the court consider Jonathan Finn's voluntary confession of his crimes. He has spared the victim's families a prolonged trial and in doing so has demonstrated a glimmer of remorse. Therefore, it is my recommendation that Jonathan Finn be spared the death penalty and instead sentenced to life in prison with no possibility of parole. Thank you. Jonathan Finn, you have committed crimes of such a depraved nature that this court has no alternative but to sentence you to death by lethal injection. This court is adjourned. Tap the logbook button on your app to read plot updates, view character biographies, and check the major ripple events affecting your story.
Let's kick it off tonight with our very own homegrown villain, Johnny Lynn, the Trapper. Sucker's been on death row for five more years. Mr. Trapper's only got 48 hours left on our big blue marble, so I thought, hey, did you know one of the victims? Phones are open. Call the one, you're up. Hey, so, well, yeah, man, I mean, in my point of view, like, they can't fry this son of a bitch hard enough, you know? I oh, saw so he got messed up as a kid. I mean, that's no excuse to take it out on our finest boys in blue. I hear you, but it ain't like our cops got the finest reputation, you know? Look at Martin for one. Promotion to homicide, metal, the works. This gal's on top of the world, and guess what? Turns out she's dirtier than the rest of us down here in the mud. Mishandling evidence, improper conduct, who knows what else? Damn. Guess you never know who's one of the good ones. I hope you all had a nice, relaxing weekend. Two new John Doe's. That's a dozen active cases in the last two weeks. We're on a hot streak here, and it ain't in the right direction. We're doing our best, sir. At least, some of us are. Son of a bitch. We're all on the same team here. Bring me some wins. That's all. Hey, hey. Don't let Calvary get to you. Ever since he got internal affairs eyes on you, he acts like some kind of moral crusader. At this point, I just tune him out. Seriously? You doing all right? Yeah. yeah. No, not really. I ain't claw further up your ass. The world's first human-sized piece of talking excrement thinks I stole evidence. In different circumstances, we would be famous. Yikes. But hey, at least everyone knows he's a turd. Yeah. I would keep your distance until all this inquiry bullshit blows over. Don't throw IA any bones. Gee, thanks, Mom. Detective Marnie, come near a minute. I know you're gonna be hating this. Yeah. yeah. Come on. You're a good cop. I know you didn't contaminate the crime scene intentionally. You know me pretty well. Look, just tell me you're doing all right, all right? I don't think I forgot what happened in 48 hours. The trapper's execution? It's because of us. Because of you, he's getting his ticket punched, and that's a heavy load. You think I give a shit about Jonathan Finn, then you don't know me at all. Partner. Partner. Got your message. Heading to see your client now. Sorry I couldn't make it back to town. I'm not crazy about meeting Finn without his attorney present. I know. Thank you for talking to him so quickly. Well, he doesn't have much time left, does he? No, he doesn't. You want to give me a little preview? It'd be kind of a tough nut to crack. Be strategic. Great. Any tips? You need to get him to talk about Adam Jones. Who's Adam Jones? Better you hear it from him. You got a plan? If he's actually got something to say, then I'm ready to hear it. Call you after? Thank you. Okay. Good afternoon. Hello. Your attorney says you have something you want to tell me. Sure, but you ain't gonna believe me. No one does. I used to blame God for what happened. At Las Palmas? The orphanage? We were just kids. We trusted them. But I've forgiven them now. God teaches us to forgive. 
if I gotta go out, I ain't going out a liar. Then tell me the truth. Miss Graves, I did not kill anybody. Do you believe Adam Jones is the one responsible for these murders? Oh, I don't believe it. I know it. Who is he? Adam was my best friend at the orphanage. And he killed those people. You know what I think? What? I think you just realized you're running out of road, so you're buying yourself a little extra asphalt. No. No. You come up with a nifty little nobody to take your seat on the stainless steel ride. But there's only one problem. What's that? He doesn't exist. No. He exists. Where is he? Where is he? Adam escaped, Adam escaped, and I found drugs. I was high from the moment I got out of there. And a couple of years later, a couple of centuries, hell if I know, Adam, Adam tracks, tracks me down online. online. He keeps writing me and writing me and bringing up all that old shit from the orphanage. He says he knows exactly how to make him pay. So we made an arrangement. I wrap myself out, I take the heat off him, spend a couple of months in the clink, and then wham! Trapper strikes again. Can't be me, because I'm in here. Makes sense, right? Pretty convenient. Convenient? Convenient is Father Raminsky running an orphanage. Fox in a hen house. You have no idea what it was like in there. The playroom. Well, that's what he called it, but I think he was the only one who was having any fun in there. Cops never found it? No. Well, no. oh, you can go see for yourself. I'm not even sure if the orphanage is still standing. So where is he? Adam. Now? No idea. How can we find him? We've got to start someplace. I got a place. Where? Where? It's not town. Uh, it's better if I draw you a map. You gonna draw me a treasure map? All I can do is point you in the right direction, but uh Nope. You got one. Use it. I kinda need to show you myself, you know. So let's say you're telling the truth. You don't know where he is now. Sounds to me like he's left you high and dry. I know what Adam's like. The kind of places he hangs around. We could go together and check it out. You gotta give me more than that, or you ain't going nowhere. I can't take it! I'm not supposed to be here! It's not supposed to go like this! Ben! Stop it! This is insane. Adam told me this wouldn't happen. He told me I'd be out by now. He promised! If this is all true, I will make sure you don't die a liar, okay? I will look into Adam Jones. If he's out there, I'll find him. I know where you're going with this, and it's not gonna work. There's no way they're letting Finn out. It's too flimsy. I know. That's not what I'm after. Then why bring me out here? If you 
tell the judge about Adam Jones. Maybe he'll grant Finn a temporary release and help the cops track down Jones. Lana, Lana, it's too late. It could lead to an appeal. All we're doing is delaying the inevitable. Adam Jones is reasonable doubt felicity. I never I wanted never the death sentence, but I just don't think this is enough to stop it from happening. Finn is not a good man, but he is not the trapper. And if he dies, the trapper is still out there. Yeah, you're right. Let's take it to Judge Banstone, see what happens. Thank you, Felicity. Don't thank me yet. Thank you so much for seeing me so quickly. Miss Petty already filled me in on this whole Adam Jones business. Yes, sir. Uh, I just spoke with Mr. Finn. Now, in my experience, you light a candle under a man's ass, you can fly a balloon out of his mouth. Sir? Are you buying his story? The timing is certainly convenient, but I think he's telling the truth. Or at least some version of it. So far, it adds up. Has anyone spoken to Jones? He's been presumed dead for years. That's quite a stretch, don't you think? Even if Jones exists, how can you be sure Finn can track him down? I'm, I'm not sure what the truth is, but I know it's out there, and we need time to find it. Well, apparently, you need to release a convicted serial killer to find it. Just long enough to lead the police to Adam Jones. You're full of surprises, Miss Graves. Well, if you were in my position, what would you do? If you grant Finn a single day release under armed guard, we may save an innocent man from wrongful execution. I see. All right, Miss Graves. I'm going to grant Jonathan Finn a temporary release into police custody, but only for three hours, no more. Thank you. Hey, Lana, you're not gonna believe this. He actually went for it? Surprised the heck out of me. Wow. Nice work, Felicity. Don't call me that. Um, I'm gonna head over to Homicide and let him know. Good call. And Felicity, thank you. Don't thank me yet. Outrageous. Outrageous. Case against Case Finn against was air goddamn tight. Nailed him with a hostage for Christ's sake. Had to be one hell of a tale for you to go and spin the judge's head around. I'm just doing my job, Detective Calvary. I try not to miss things that might be important. I know that's sort of the foreign concept around here. I'm not gonna punch a DA. Not a lady one, at least. Who exactly was Adam Jones? Did he come up at all during the investigation? Uh-huh. There was an Adam Jones at the orphanage. But you know what? Sorry fucker was killed in the fire that shut the place down. So the story kind of ends there. Finn's got impeccable timing. You don't think he's full of it? I think... I think there's something there. Judge thinks so, too. He's granting a temporary release into police custody to help find Adam Jones. Finn tells me Ruminski had a secret room at the orphanage. Called it the playroom. It's where he held his extracurricular activities. Does that sound familiar? Shit, no. I would remember they found something like that. I was wondering, uh, Mr. Hillary, so... When you analyzed the bodies of the Trapper's victims, did you find anything that might suggest there could be another suspect? 
gosh, that was five years ago. I, would, I don't think so. So no reason to suspect anyone but Finn? I do recall only, you know, submitting a partial analysis of the evidence because Mr. Finn confessed, so it seemed open and shut. So there was more evidence left to analyze? Well, yeah, trace signatures. Do you have access to all that data? Now just hold on a goddamn second. How can you even entertain the idea of letting this scumbag out of his cell? Finn had motive. He went through hell at Las Palmas, he hated the police. We even found his hair at another crime scene. The RV park, right? That was the social worker? And, uh, Detective Marnie, would you mind walking me through that night again? I'll walk you through it in two words. Missed opportunity. Could have had Finn in handcuffs right then and there. I didn't ask for a running commentary, Calvary. I think the record is clear. Detective Marnie showed extreme bravery in a difficult situation. If you don't mind, I'd like to hear what happened from you. At least you were actually there. Uh, sure. Catherine Hope was a social worker at Las Palmas Orphanage. We didn't know Finn had her. We got a 10-8 at Hog Haven Trailer Park out by the highway. A break-in in progress. I was closest to the scene, so I went solo. Should have been a piece of cake, but that night everyone was on pins and needles because the trapper was raising cane. And any one of us could have been next. This is 609 on the CFBIP. Open exit on the highway, no perp. Gonna make an entry to the trailer. 609 acknowledged, caution advised. Okay, okay, okay. Just keep quiet. Who did this to you? I... I was in the bar. I... I don't know. I woke up here. 
Oh God, please help me, please, please. What's happening? Well, at least we only had one casualty that night. Not that it did a lot of good. Social worker was killed in a hit and run a few weeks later. It wasn't the kind of thing I'm eager to repeat. Ben must have seen you coming. Pulled a Houdini before finishing the job. Yeah, split so quick he left his gear behind. How did Finn get away? I tried to lock down the perimeter, but Finn was long gone by the time backup arrived. So how did you link Finn to the scene? I discovered that Mr. Finn had left a hair at the scene. We ran the DNA through our criminal database, and he came up as the match. He was already in the system. Finn had been in and out of the station so many times, he practically had a door with his name on it. When we got the tip uh, that he'd been spotted at a squat, he just happened to be driving by. Shit just seems to fall in your lap, detective. At least I caught him, dick. Uh-oh. Mama Bear's got a temper. Watch out. Okay, okay, let's ease up on the pissing contest, all right? Let's at least try to pretend to work together. I'm sorry. Last I checked, this was my case. And I got my guy convicted. Who the fuck are you to question my competency? I'm a district attorney. Are you finished? Okay, I think we've opened up enough old wounds for one day. Traffic case shook us all up. Sergeant. I'd say we've been more than patient. Is there anything else you wanted to know? Do you have Adam Jones's forensics records on file? Well, not from his death. Were there samples taken when he was placed in the orphanage? Yes, most likely. Would it be possible to pull those records and run them against evidence found at the Trapper's crime scene? Are you shitting me? You're wasting the time of this entire division, you understand? I got a better idea. We let that psycho die on the table. Kevin. We'll have Mr. Hillary look into it, Miss Graves. Thank you. Hey, Graves. Hey, Graves. Yeah. I just wanted to say that Calvary's a dick. Yeah. Don't worry about it. You were really helpful. Oh, hey, what are you doing tonight? I. What? I've got a huge stack of files at my apartment. Not going to be able to get through it on my own. Okay, sure. I can help you with that. Perfect. Call me. A rat, a rat trap. trap. Oh. Yep. yep. Found one at each of his crime scenes. Some kind of messed up calling card. I had no I idea. Yeah. We managed to keep it out of the press. Target number one, Rupert Walsh, the undertaker. After he killed him, the trapper rigged a shotgun to the motel door, and the officer who got the call took it in the chest. Simple, but messy. Not a guarantee he killed the responder. Was there anything more on the victim? 
I mean, he's the only one without a connection to Las Palmas, just a local gin hound. Finn called it a dry run with a wet noodle. I guess that was his idea of some kind of sick joke. But then again, if he's not the trapper, I... Oh, God damn it. This case is just the gift that keeps on giving. Ricky, do you want to take a break? No, no. no. Why, do I look like I need a break? Oh, no, 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 I didn't mean it like that. Forget it, sorry. I, I'm just tired. Long weekend. I hear you. I just want to figure this thing out. Put it behind me. Well, the good news is it'll all be over before you know it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Second target, nasty piece of work. Oh, this is the one that would beat the kids till you couldn't recognize them. LeMay. Orderly at Las Palmas. A couple years before the orphanage, narcotics had a file on him a mile wide. But they couldn't get anything to stick. Slippery son of a bitch. The trapper left his body in a pitch black room, rigged the light fixture with C4. The cop who showed up flipped the light switch and let there be light. He's definitely elevating here. I mean, his first real kill, more sophisticated, but he wasn't satisfied. Third target. Father Rominski, leader of the pack. Chaplain at Las Palmas and the man behind the abuse. Allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. The trapper knocked him out, cut him open, and rigged him up with explosives to blow if he moved. We got a tape of the whole thing a few days later. The sick fucker made Rominski kneel in prayer for hours, confessing his sins. When he got what he wanted, he called Sergeant Teller. Did you know the other two cops? That was my precinct. So, all three of them, and you, a first responder in the botched attempt, all from the third precinct? The murders were in our district. How well did you know the other two? I mean, how well did you know the other first responders? Enough to know that I didn't like them much. I got out of there as soon as possible. What if the first victims in each incident were just a smokescreen, and the real target was the third precinct? Interesting. Interesting. Yeah? yeah? These three cops, they weren't exactly best of the boys in blue. How so? Third precinct had problems of chemical variety. They were using? Yeah, yeah. and then some. I'm surprised this never came up in the investigation. I'm not. Anyways, you might have something. What's up with you and Calvary? No, there's a guy who's got it coming. You couldn't even cut that tension with a chainsaw. Calvary's just got to stick up his ass. Why is that? Well, for starters, I'm the one who nabbed the trapper, not him. He can't stand it. Okay, he's had some time to get over that. Yeah, you'd think. But he keeps messing with me. How so? Just because I'm good at my job, I have a target on my back. I'm sure that's not true. Yeah, easy for you to say. My dad's not around to fight my battles for me. No one has it easy in this town. This is 125 at the 1016. Make an entry. 125 acknowledged. Caution advised. This is the police. Anyone here?
Oh, dear oh, God. God. Sir, Sir, can you hear can me? You hear me? Hey, what's going on? Maggie, it's... What? It's not good. The victim. It's, uh, it's one of us. What? What, what happened? We we're still sorting through the mess, but a call came in. There was a body. A responder showed up. The body was rigged. It looks just like a trapper murder. Police. Police. Who? Who? How? How? It's, uh, it's cavalry. What? No, that no. doesn't happen. That's ridiculous. I don't know all the details yet. We're still sorting through the mess. It's, it's pretty rough in there. Thank God. Excuse me, would you please stay clear of my work here? Thank you. From what we can piece together, it looks like Calvary was uh, indulging in some private hospitality. Hired hospitality? Yep, yeah. Track her down? Uh, just a manager's vague description, brunette, twenties. Great. Calvary's firearm was discharged, full clip. But the only blood in here is his own. And, uh, Officer Montesinos. The responder? Calvary's body was rigged with traps. Fuck. It's a whole clip. If someone cut his throat from behind, why would he fire this way? And if they did it from the front, why would he miss? Oh God, it's really him. Anything? Anything? Nothing useful. Nothing. Becky. Becky. I tried to call tried you last night. Yeah? Yeah. You didn't answer? I didn't feel like talking. Where were you? Do you really think I could do something like this? Listen to yourself. I'm not saying that. Oh no, but it's the first thing that pops up in there. It's motive, Becky. We look for motive first thing we do. I just want to rule it out. Whatever you're thinking, stops. I'm trying to help you. Yes, yes, I hated Calvary. I hated Calvary, but not like this. This, this is insane. insane. This just makes just things makes a million times worse. worse. And you're not you're helping. Right. That's the end of part one. Check the logbook, fix yourself a drink, and hit the box when you're ready to move on.
And now, and now, part two, part two of Hidden, of Hidden Agenda. Agenda. Simon, how you holding out? Hanging in there. A lot of extra work whenever there's a freak on the loose, I guess. Okay. Okay, guys. Can you settle down? Listen up. We lost a brother today. Another one won't be returning to duty. Could have been a lot worse. I know this is a dark day for all of us. Calvary was... He was a tough son of a bitch. Nobody thought he'd go out this way. But I'm gonna need you all to keep your nose to the grindstone until we crack this case. Excuse me, Excuse Sergeant. Sergeant. What's the latest What's on the witness? witness? Call girl? Her APB's out in the street walker and uh, our potential suspect, Captain Jones. Any development should be the first to know. Right now, we're saying Calvary was taken off the payroll by a copycat killer. Maybe someone taking their cues from Finn and the Clink. Due to her close proximity to the case, we're being aided by Prosecutor Felicity Graves in this investigation. There's another thing. District Attorney Felicity Graves has negotiated to have Jonathan Finn temporarily released into our custody. Ah, oh, come on. You believe this? Hey, listen, I get it. We think this could be a valuable lead and we're gonna follow it through. Anyone got a problem with that, come see me personally. Detective Marnie, I want you to go over Calvary's old case files, see if anything tracks with the previous trapper hits. Losing one of the ranks. No matter how it goes down. Yeah. But thank you for thank asking. You. Let you know if you find anything. They're getting ready to move Finn for his little field trip. I'd like for you to join us. So would I. If I can get out of the dungeon. <laughs> Do we have a problem? What the fuck were you going on about this morning at the crime scene? Becky. Do you honestly think that I have something to do with this? Not now. 
You're my partner. We gotta be honest with each other. Look, everyone knows about what's going on between you and Calvary. You've got motive, so I'm just doing my job. I thought that you would at least be on my side. It's not about sides. It's better that it's me asking questions, okay? Some of these guys... Yeah, yeah, right. I know how it looks. If Calvary had proven I lost evidence, I'd be screwed. So yeah, motive. It's too bad no one ever filed a complaint on him. And you know, this wasn't the first time he was with a hooker. He was a grade A creep, but they're still gonna ask questions. And the more distance you have, the better. The better. Why do you think Sarge put you on file work? Why you keep pushing me? You better rest. Hey! You keep pushing me and I'm gonna push back. You really wanna threaten your partner? Adam Jones was definitely at Las Palmas, same time as Finn. Allegedly died in the fire that shut the place down, and how, according to Finn, Jones grew up to be the trapper, but how can that be possible? Doesn't make sense. If these killings are connected to the Las Palmas Orphanage, Father Rominski is at the center of it. It's just too bad that the rest of the clergy took a vow of silence the minute things started to get hairy for him. But Finn told Felicity that Rominski had some kind of secret room at the orphanage. Couldn't find any reference to this in the police records. I guess it's time for me to head over to Las Palmas and take another look. Hello? Hello?
Oh, hello, ladies. Looks like Father Rominski was a regular customer. Whoa. Use your pointer to hit the target before the timer runs out. Marnie, Marnie, headed to a house at 22 Huffman Road. Meet you there? Uh, yeah. Is everything okay? I found Romanski's playroom. No, not much, but he and Calvary had one thing in common. Hookers. Interesting. Someone was creeping around Las Palmas. Proven nothing. I mean, the place is like squatter heaven. They bolted the second I made them. Hmm. I'll see you at the house. Do me a favor and just make sure he doesn't try anything. Oh, he can certainly try. Don't get any ideas. It's good to see you again. How are your bracelets? Well, I can't feel my fingers, if that's what you're asking. You gonna help me out or what? How's that? How's that? So kind, so of, kind you. of you. So is this where Adam came after the orphanage? This, this is where Adam grew up. up. All clear. Couple squatter nests, but looks like they split. All right, give us five. Start the tour, boss. Right this way. This room right in here. This is where Adam slept when he ran away. Nobody's been here for years, Finn. Well, I didn't say he'd be here to greet us.
What is all of this? Adam's pop was a pest control man. You don't say. He was a pretty good one, too. Traps. Of course. The one thing Adam got from his dad was a knack for killing vermin. Detective Marnie, Sarge says it's time to wrap it up. We found something. Just need a couple more minutes. How did Adam end up at the orphanage? Well, Adam's pop would get so blasted he couldn't see a hole in the ladder. Beat his wife senseless if she gave him one crooked look. One night, she loaded up his double lot, took his head clean off. Right in front of Adam. Judge put her away for life. No parole, no visits from her kid. Guess it don't matter that if she hadn't picked up that shotgun, Pops would have killed them both sooner or later anyway. That's our justice system for you, right? Murder's murder. It wasn't self-defense. Maybe how you see it. Doesn't mean she had the right to kill. So, yeah. Adam was shipped off to Las Palmas. Out of the frying pan into the fire, huh? You wouldn't believe what they did to us in there. Or Minsky and that piece of shit orderly. And, you know, we tried to fight him the way you're supposed to fight him. We called the cops. Third precinct. And nobody did a goddamn thing. Not even our own social worker. So once Adam got out of that hellhole, he figured out his own way to make them all pay. Those cops? He knew their beat. He timed every murder to the minute. He knew exactly who'd get the call and exactly what was waiting for him. Cops failed. Parents failed. System failed. What would you do? You took out the people who hurt us. If I've been hurt like Adam, yeah, I'd want them to pay. Yeah? You know, I used to think maybe Adam's the only one who can see the world for what it truly is. See past all the bullshit, the evil deeds that lie in the hearts of men. But now I know only God has that gift. Thanks for hearing me out. After all this time, it's nice to tell my side of it. Sure. Sure. Call any time. There is something else. Yeah? The hostage. When you picked me up, Daniela Cardenas. Well, Daniela and her sister Izzy were with us at Las Palmas. We went through the same shit. Izzy never got over it. OD'd a couple of years later. Adam knew that Daniela would do anything to see Raminsky pay. This is Officer 609. We're gonna need an APB on a new suspect. Daniela Cardenas. I repeat, we need an immediate APB. Cardenas was not a hostage in the Trapper case. She was a co-conspirator. I'm gonna call Sam and Hillary. If Daniela's sister passed through the morgue, he might be able to take up the case. You're gonna be all right? Go. Go. Hey. hey. You still think I'm making all this up? Less and less. But without proof that Adam's still running around. I can get you proof. No, you can't. You're right. You're right. Not like this, I can't. You're nuts. He's never going to show his face while I'm on a leash. But on my own, I can draw him out, serve him right up on a silver platter. Even if you're right, Judge Vanstone wouldn't go for it in a million years. What if I were a wire? Then you could keep tabs on me. No. But it could work. No. You're on death row. Did you forget that? For crimes I didn't commit. Did you forget that? Look, there's, uh, 
Something I may have neglected to mention. Oh, please, enlighten me. Adam told me that if I were to ever find myself free of incarceration, he'd reach out immediately. Is that so? You can make it look like I overpowered you. No one would have to know. I cannot believe you're actually proposing this. Yes, you can, because you know it's the only way to catch him. Look at me. I could take you out in a second. Police would buy it. You can make it look real. Prisoner 75422 is requested to be returned to custody immediately. This is Officer 732, receive a request. Please stand by for confirmation. How would you even find him? I got strings I can pull. I can find him. You just gotta let me. You're not going anywhere, cowboy. LeMay, Orderly, Orderly at Las Palmas. In and out In of the 3rd Precinct lockup for years, but known for his uncanny ability to avoid doing any real time. Seems likely that he knew people on the inside. If the 3rd Precinct cops were the Trapper's targets, well, he can explore worlds. His brother, Vernon LeMay, works in sanitation downtown. I'm gonna pay him a visit. This is 609 in pursuit of suspect. Party made foot bail.
Hey, hey. You okay? You okay? Yeah, yeah. It is, it is. Yeah. yeah. What happened? I fucked up. Again. Sounds like you did the right thing. That's not how it's gonna look. Better to be tried by 12 than carry by six. Eight twenty-three p.m. Revisiting the crime scene of Detective Jack Calvary's murder. Gonna have a closer look at the bedroom first. It's not that big of a place, but I always have to wonder if the forensic team missed something. Forensics confirmed, confirmed that the bullets were fired from Calvary's gun. But why? Hey, hey. Now what is that? Okay, now this is just... Huh. huh. Okay, now who's this? say this, but thank God Calvary was one perverted piece of shit. This is huge. I can explain. Yeah, well, you damn well better. I will. I will. Could you start talking? I needed to know. Know what? About you. What were you trying to find out? I know you and Calvary had issues. Putting it mildly. That's exactly my point. The inquiry? Jesus Christ. You two? I have to look at this from every angle, Becky. You know that. If you wanted Calvary out, then you could have used Finn's confession to pin it on the trapper. That's opportunity and motive. 
You're right. And so is this oh right God. now. Oh, God. Please. Please, Maggie. Who is he? Who am I? Who? Who? I'm sorry. For you, for you to think, think that I could do, do this. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, that's the end of part two. Hit the box when you're ready to move on. And now, and now, part three, part three of Hidden of Agenda. Agenda. You still think, you still it's, think me. it's me? Like, I have to be honest, but it does kind of look like you, and that's not going to help your case. If that was me on the footage, then why would I show it to you? I mean, why wouldn't I just kill you back at the cabin? We kind of almost did. Touche. The guy on that video? In the hoodie? Same guy I chased earlier. You sure? Pretty sure. All right, so this hooker, she's working with the trapper. Why? She lures them and kills them and he sets up the trap? The thing that I'm stuck on, where did the hooker go? She goes into the bathroom and the hoodie guy comes out. Thanks. When Calvary was investigating the trapper five years ago, he had one big blind spot. Prostitutes. Father Rominski had a thing for hookers. And now Calvary is killed by a hooker. 
at least someone dressed like one. Maybe the trapper is using a hooker to lure his targets to a premeditated murder site. I just, I don't even know what to think anymore. I feel like everyone's out to get me. Don't worry, detective. You're safe with me. No one's ever safe in this town. Maybe the trapper's working with Daniela Cardenas. She could have been the hooker with Calvary. Well, cops are all out looking for her, so I'm sure she'll be brought in for questioning soon. Maybe Finn's right, and Adam Jones is the one behind all this. But if he really is the one doing all this, where is he now? You know what? It's pretty late. <sighs> yeah. yeah. My advice? Sleep on it. Take all this to surgeon in the morning. All right. See ya. See ya. <laughs> Hey Lana. Hey, Lana. Check your email now. What email? Oh. oh. Whoever did this makes a compelling argument Marnie killed Calvary. Well, more than just Calvary. Play the audio. Cannot believe the mouth of this Marnie chick. We gotta be careful or she'll blow this whole operation. What'd she say? Threaten her. Us. All of us. She's out of control. Someone's been holding on to that for years. Did you recognize the voices? No. No. Should I? Should it's I? been confirmed. They're two of the officers killed by the trapper. Look, Marnie's been weird, and yeah, she had motive. And? She didn't have opportunity. How do you know? She was with me the night that Calvary died. Ah. Uh, I mean, if she didn't, it'd be one hell of a trick. You're a hard one to track down, Daniela. You're in a lot of trouble, young lady. Suck my nuts. Finn's come clean. We know you weren't a real hostage back in 2012. Look, I get it. You and your sister went through hell. The cops did nothing. They failed you. And you wanted to make them pay. Adam Jones, right? He offered you a way to get back at them all. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do, and it's a felony, but help us out. Maybe we'll let bygones be bygones. Sure. He's the one who set it up. He told me what he did to the fuckers who hurt me in his he, but I have no clue where he is now. You haven't seen him at all since the arrest. I saw him once. He didn't recognize me. He looked all different, but I recognized him. You can always tell from his creep-ass eyes. Even all cleaned up. Cleaned up how? I don't know, he's like... a cop or a doctor or something. Detective Carter, I need to speak with you. We're right in the middle of something here. Now? No. Don't go anywhere. There's been an abduction. Judge Vanstone. Witness says it was Becky that took him. 
Beki pasti saya gus. Just ran soon. She put inside me, goddammit. Hey. She? What? Was what? A, who? Who's she? Was a, a woman. A goddamn whore. What has she done? What's your endgame? Well, certainly not be analyzed by a too big cop. Sometimes killing is the only option. What? You can try to run, but I can't promise you I'm not gonna pop that balloon a bit earlier. And there's enough explosives in there to level the whole floor. Jesus Christ. I left your fire on for a reason. Stop the heart. Stop the timer. You can't be serious. I can be whatever I want. You can be alive or you can be dead. That's your choice. And the clock's ticking. So what did he say? Are you gonna get me out of this? I 
Please, 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 just stay. Stay calm, stay calm. I, 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 Shit. If the timer reaches zero, then we're both dead. How much time? If you take this phone out of me, it can't hurt me, right? You gotta get it out of me! <laughs> ah, no! Please! Ah, I can't take it! Carter. Becky, God damn it, where are you? Oh my God, Carl. We got a tip you kidnapped Judge Vanstone, said you were at the Elliott Hotel. We got to surround it. I'm at the hotel, but you gotta help me. Please. Stay right there, we're coming in. He's on the ground! Now! Please! Please! 
please, you have to listen to me. This is a mistake. Get down! Hands in the air! On your knees! No, no, down. no, 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 no. I'm being framed. Stop! Please. Right now! Please, I'm not just listen! Warn you again. Stay down! Hands behind your head! So what do we do? What happens next? Not much we can do. What are you talking about? Becky was close. She was... She was gonna figure it out. Becky was with me the night of Calvary's death. All night. So if she didn't kill him, that means the trapper is still out there. The evidence? It all pointed to Becky. Your word's not enough. But she's innocent. I mean, don't you guys stand up for each other? Don't you guys have a code? What? There's only one shade of blue? Yeah, yeah, right. That's just a line they fed us at the Academy. Earlier today, Judge William Vanstone was kidnapped from his home on the east side of the city. He has since been rescued and is back with his family recovering. Detective Becky Marty surrendered to police custody shortly afterwards. She has vocally denied any wrongdoing, but is considered a suspect in both the Vanstone case and the gruesome murder of Detective Jack Calvary. An investigation is ongoing. Sergeant Nelson made a brief statement to the press only moments ago. We can now confirm that Becky Marnie has been arrested. That's all I can say at this time. Thank you. I'm no jury. I don't have the right to convict, but... but. Did Detective Marnie have motive? Yeah. Did I trust her? Trust is a luxury I can't afford. So what you're saying is that money helped you. I'm just telling you what happened. Do you think it's possible she suffered from some form of multiple personality disorder? You think she was crazy? Playing both sides at once? In this town, anything's possible. I already told you everything I know. Why don't you leave me alone? I didn't want any of this to happen. None of it's gonna bring my sister back. Do you understand? Becky Marnie seemed to be a troubled cop. Why did you cover for her when you had problems of your own? Back then, back man, then, I was higher than the ISS. You know what I'm saying? The, uh, International Space Station. Can I go now? Uh, yeah, well... Marnie covered tracks like a pro. She was on the force, so she uh, knew exactly how we would think. In my uh, expert opinion, I suspect we'll never know the extent of uh, Marnie's deception. Very intelligent, manipulative, willing to take anyone down to get her way, especially those who trusted her. But hey, at least she can't hurt anyone else. Yeah, I... 
i don't know i just it just doesn't make sense i thought she was onto something i don't think she's behind this i trusted her i i trusted her Whoa. You must have had some heck of a rat problem. Mm
We can now confirm that Becky Marnie has been arrested. That's all I can say at this time. Thank you. I'm no jury. I don't have the right to convict, but, but... Did Detective Marnie have motive? Yeah. Did I trust her? Trust is a luxury I can't afford. So what you're saying is that Marty helped you? I'm just telling you what happened. Do you think it's possible she suffered from some form of multiple personality disorder? You think she was crazy? Playing both sides at once? In this town, anything's possible. I already told you everything I know. Why don't you leave me alone? I didn't want any of this to happen. None of it's gonna bring my sister back. Do you understand? Becky Marnie seemed to be a troubled cop. Why did you cover for her when you had problems? In story mode, you're playing the game for fun. Work together to solve the crime and play the story you want to see. You ready for this? Of course I'm ready. Nice and easy. Textbook cop. What's the play? Play. Vote for choices by moving your pointer inside the box.
doesn't feel right. Let's scope it out. Split up. I'll take the door around back. Windows mouth. Stealth mode. Use your pointer to hit the target before the timer runs out. Shoot. Hey, don't test my aim, fucker. I am not gonna hurt her. Please help me, please. Get me out of here. Hands up! Hands up! I'm not gonna say it again! Shoot. Move your pointer onto the target. Think before you shoot. You do not have to open fire. Don't move. Tracker came to a dramatic end tonight as police from the 3rd Precinct arrested their primary suspect, Jonathan Finn. Finn is wanted in connection with a string of grisly murders that has gripped the city and claimed the lives of first response police officers. More on this story as it develops. Ladies and gentlemen, the accused Jonathan Finn is guilty. Of that there is no doubt. Your job is simply to determine how he is punished. This man, the so-called trapper killer, has terrorized our community with his brutal murder spree. Booby trapping his victims so our brave first responders became victims themselves. These innocent people were targeted for no other reason than to play out Jonathan Finn's sick game. Jonathan Finn has confessed to every single one of these crimes. I ask that the court consider Jonathan Finn's voluntary confession of his crimes. He has spared the victim's families a prolonged trial and in doing so has demonstrated a glimmer of remorse. Therefore, it is my recommendation that Jonathan Finn be spared the death penalty and instead sentenced to life in prison with no possibility of parole. Thank you. Jonathan Finn, you have committed crimes of such a depraved nature that this court has no alternative but to sentence you to death by lethal injection. This court is adjourned.
Tap the logbook button on your app to read plot updates, view character biographies, and check the major ripple events affecting your story. I am Ray Weaver, and this is The Crawl. Let's kick it off tonight with our very own homegrown villain, Johnny Finn, The Trapper. Sucker's been on death row for five whole years. Mr. Trapper's only got 48 hours left on our big blue marble, so I thought, hey, did you know one of the victims? Phones are open. Call the one, you're on. Hey, so, well, yeah, man, I mean, in my point of view, like, they can't fry this son of a bitch hard enough, you know? I saw he got messed up as a kid. I mean, that's no excuse to take it out on our finest boys in blue. I hear you, but it ain't like our cops got the finest reputation, you know? Look at Marty for one. Promotion to homicide, metal, the works. This gal's on top of the world, and guess what? Turns out she's dirtier than the rest of us down here in the mud. Mishandling evidence, improper conduct, who knows what else? Damn. Guess you never know who's one of the good ones. Morning, everyone. Got another pair of John Doe's this weekend. We're quickly racking up red names on this board. And I'm gonna tell you, unsolved cases don't exactly uphold the reputation we've built here at this precinct. Just put Marty the Magician on the case. I hear she's got a knack for making things disappear. Son of a bitch. Detective Calvary. I pretend you didn't just say that. You're dismissed. Calvary? Everyone knows he only reported you because you're the biggest target. Glad to know my accomplishments have earned me something. You doing okay? Doing okay. I'd be doing a lot better if Calvary would take a short walk off a tall building. Hey, just promise me you won't do anything. Don't give IA anything to work with. That's why the inquiry is still open. Yeah, yeah, I think, think. Just gotta keep telling myself that. Detective Marnie? Detective Marnie? Leave a word in my, word my office. office. Look, Marnie, Marnie. I'm not supposed to comment on an ongoing internal affairs investigation, but. If it starts affecting my best detective... I'm sorry, sir. Nick, don't apologize. You're a good cop. I have no doubt you didn't do anything to compromise the crime scene intentionally. The facts will speak for themselves. Thank you for believing in me, sir. You know, it sometimes feels like we don't have a choice in these things, but... You do. You got me? Yes, of course. I don't want to believe that. But I know the trap was set for execution in 48 hours. It's a heavy load. You know when you send someone to death row? I don't want you to be distracted. Finn's execution can't come soon enough. A whole lot of folks agree. I know I do. I'm gonna guess none of those folks are looking forward to a good night's sleep as much as I am. Mm -hmm. The fact that he's still breathing keeps me up at night. Got your message. Heading to see your client now. Sorry I couldn't make it back to town. I'm not crazy about meeting Finn without his attorney present. I know. Thank you for talking to him so quickly. Well, he doesn't have much time left, does he? No, he doesn't. You want to give me a little preview? It'd be kind of a tough nut to crack. Be strategic. Great. Any tips? You need to get him to talk about Adam Jones. 
Who's Adam Jones? Better you hear it from him. You got a plan? I know how to get what I need. Call you after. Your attorney says you've got something you want to share with me? You've got five minutes. Piss round and I'm out of here. Miss Graves, I did not kill anybody. I used to blame God for what happened. At Las Palmas? The orphanage? We were just kids. We trusted them. But I've forgiven them now. God teaches us to forgive. You can't forgive your abusers once you've put them in the ground. Forgiveness doesn't work like that. I didn't kill anyone! Finn, calm down. Calm? I'm about to fucking die! And nobody will know the truth. What do you mean? What truth? I'm gonna die a liar. A dirty sin and liar. Truth about what? The confession, the murders, everything! Oh, so now you didn't kill them? The chaplain, the orderly? Then who did? I'm sorry, Finn, but your time is up. Wait, please, Miss Graves. We're done. It was Adam. Adam Jones from the orphanage. I'm listening. He was my friend. Went through the same hell as me. He killed them. It was Adam, not me. You know what I think? What? I think you just realized you're running out of road, so you're buying yourself a little extra asphalt. No, no. You come up with a nifty little nobody to take your seat on the stainless steel ride. But there's only one problem. What's that? He doesn't exist. <laughs> he exists. Where is he? Adam escaped, and I found drugs. I was high from the moment I got out of there. And a couple of years later, a couple of centuries, hell if I know, Adam tracks me down online. And he keeps writing me and writing me and bringing up all that old shit from the orphanage. He says he knows exactly how to make him pay. So we made an arrangement. I wrap myself out, I take the heat off him, spend a couple of months in the clink, and then wham! Trapper strikes again. Can't be me, because I'm in here. Makes sense, right? Pretty convenient. Convenient? Convenient is Father Raminsky running an orphanage. Fox in a hen house. You have no idea what it was like in there. The playroom. Well, that's what he called it. I think he was the only one who was having any fun in there. Cops never found it? No. No. Well, you can go see for yourself. I'm not even sure if the orphanage is still standing. So where is he? Adam. Now? No idea. How can we find him? Gotta start someplace. I got a place. Where? Where? It's not, uh... It's better if I draw you a map. Back. I just want to talk. Ah, God damn it! Ah, God, my face! Hey, hey! Settle down. Hey, take it easy. How'd it go? How do you think? 
my client. But he died in the same fire that closed it for good. Lana? Lana? Your client just tried to assault me, okay? He's dangerous. If you're looking to get him out of here, it's not gonna happen. Ever. Jesus. I'm sorry. Are you okay? Yeah. Look, that's not what I'm after. Then why bring me out here? If you tell the judge about Adam Jones, maybe he'll grant Thrun a temporary release and help the cops track down Jones. Lana, it's too late. It could lead to an appeal. All we're doing is delaying the inevitable. Adam Jones is reasonable doubt, Felicity. I never wanted, I never wanted the, death the death sentence, death. but I just don't think this is enough to stop it from happening. Finn is not a good man, but he is not the Trapper. And if he dies, the Trapper is still out there. Yeah, you're right. Let's take it to Judge Banstone, see what happens. Thank you for listening. Don't thank me yet. Thank you so thank much you so for much. seeing me so quickly. Miss Petty already filled me in on this whole Adam Jones business. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I just spoke with Mr. Finn. Now, in my experience, you light a candle under a man's ass, you can fly a balloon out of his mouth. Sir? Are you buying his story? The timing is certainly convenient, but I think he's telling the truth. Or at least some version of it. So far, it adds up. Has anyone spoken to Jones? He's been presumed dead for years. That's quite a stretch, don't you think? Well, even if Jones exists, how can you be sure Finn can track him down? There's no way to know unless we try, sir. You're full of surprises, Miss Graves. Well, if you were in my position, what would you do? I don't think it's my place to make that kind of decision, sir. I'm sorry, Miss Graves, but Finn has gotten into your head once, and he's doing it again. He's clearly a desperate man, just dredging up anything he can from his past to delay the inevitable. There's just not enough here for me to take any action. Finn stays put. The execution will go on as planned. Hey, Lana. No go, huh? Yeah, Vanstone's mind's made up. There's one more thing you can do for me. I feel like you're running out of favors here. The police and homicide won't talk to me. They think I'm just as bad as my client. But they'll talk to you. I don't know. I'm not sure homicide will talk to me either. It's over in a couple hours either way. For Finn. Fine. I'll let you know how it goes. And I need a raise. <laughs> then you should have gone into corporate law. Don't you know that crime doesn't pay? Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like a load of fresh horse manure. Case is airtight. We caught him in the act, for Christ's sake. You want to tell me why, exactly, we should be listening to that scumbag? I'm sorry to spring this on you. We all want the same thing. A man is about to be put to death, and we need to make sure he deserves it. Oh, Jonathan Finn deserves it. Of that I am sure. Who exactly was Adam Jones? Did he come up at all during the investigation? Uh-huh. There was an Adam Jones at the orphanage. But you know what? Sorry fucker was killed in the fire that shut the place down. So the story kind of ends there. Finn's got impeccable timing. You don't think he's full of it? I think... I think there's something there. 
I just want to put this thing to rest before Finn's put to rest. Finn tells me Rominski had a secret room at the orphanage. Called it the playroom. It's where he held his extracurricular activities. Does that sound familiar? I'd remember something like that. That didn't come out in the report. I was wondering, uh, Mr. Hillary, so when you analyzed the bodies of the trapper's victims, did you find anything that might suggest there could be another suspect? Gosh, that was five years ago. I, I don't think so. So no reason to suspect anyone but Finn? I do recall only, you know, submitting a partial analysis of the evidence because Mr. Finn confessed, so it seemed open and shut. So there was more evidence left to analyze? Well, yeah, trace signatures. Do you have access to all that data? Now just hold on a goddamn second. This case is closed. Finn had motive. He went through hell at Las Palmas. He hated the police. We even found his hair at another crime scene. The RV park, right? That was the social worker? And, uh, Detective Marnie, would you mind walking me through that night again? I'll walk you through it. Two words. Missed opportunity. Could have had Finn in handcuffs right then and there. I think I'd like to hear from Detective Marnie, if you don't mind. Uh, sure. Catherine Hope was a social worker at Las Palmas Orphanage. We didn't know Finn had her. We got a 10-8 at Hog Haven Trailer Park out by the highway. A break-in in progress. I was closest to the scene, so I went solo. Should have been a piece of cake, but that night everyone was on pins and needles because the trapper was raising Cain. And any one of us could have been next. Search for the clue shown at the top of the screen. Use your pointer to highlight the clues before the timer runs out. Some of these clues could help you in the future, so try to find them all. I was in the bar. I, I don't know. I woke up here. Oh God! Please, please help me! Please, please. What's happening? Okay, I'm gonna remove the timer. Oh God! Oh my God! 
It wasn't the kind of thing I'm eager to repeat. Ben must have seen you coming. Got out before finishing the job. Yeah, split so quick he left his gear behind. How did Finn get away? I tried to lock down the perimeter, but Finn was long gone by the time backup arrived. So how did you link Finn to the scene? I discovered that Mr. Finn had left a hair at the scene. We ran the DNA through our criminal database, and he came up as the match. He was already in the system. Finn had been in and out of the station so many times, he practically had a door with his name on it. When we got the tip uh, that he'd been spotted at a squat, he just happened to be driving by. Shit just seems to fall on your lap, detective. At least I caught him, dick. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Mama Bear's got a temper. Watch out. I'm sorry, detective, but your attitude is not helping. I'm sorry. Last I checked, this was my case. And I got my guy convicted. Who the fuck are you to question my competency? I'm a district attorney. Are you finished? The Trapper case shook everyone up. I think we've poured enough salt in all our own wounds for one night. Sergeant. I think that about covers it. Anything else we can help you with? Do you have Adam Jones's forensics records on file? Well, not from his death. Were there samples taken when he was placed in the orphanage? Yes, most likely. Would it be possible to pull those records and run them against evidence found at the Trapper's crime scene? Are you shitting me? You're wasting the time of this entire division, you understand? I got a better idea. We let that psycho die on the table. Calvary, stop. We'll have Mr. Hillary look into it. Let's know if we find anything. Thank you. Hey, Graves. Yeah. I just I wanted just to, wanted to say, 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 Calvary's a dick. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry Don't about, about it. it. You were you really were helpful. helpful. tonight I what I've got a huge stack of files at my apartment not gonna be able to get through it on my own uh you know I think I'll take a pass we'll uh, let you know if anything comes up fair enough have a good one Huh. A rat trap. Target number one, Rupert Walsh. Local undertaker, drunk, no apparent connection to Las Palmas Orphanage. After the murder, the trapper rigged a shotgun to the motel door and the first responding officer was killed. Second target, Frederick LeMay. Orderly at Las Palmas, drug charges, assaults, but no convictions. Trapper left his body in a pitch black room and filled the light fixture with C4. First responding officer flipped the switch and sayonara. Third target, Father Rominski. The Trapper had his own explosives inside his body wired to blow if he moved a muscle. Left him sitting in a prayer position and he was forced to confess his sins, namely the abuse he and his cronies conducted at the orphanage. The first responder was Huh, it was Sergeant Teller. A theory. 
While the first target had no apparent connection to Las Palmas, all the responding officers were from the third precinct, including Detective Marnie. Were the initial victims just a smokescreen, and the real targets the third precinct police? Why would he target them? Contacts. Who would you like to call? Becky Marnie. Call Becky Marnie. Hi, Detective Marnie. This is Felicity Graves. Hi. Hi, I'm so sorry for calling you so late, but I've just been going over the case files and. Do you mind if I run a theory by you? Sure. Hit me. Well, I noticed that all of the first responders were from the third precinct, including yourself. And do you think it's possible that the real targets in each of the trapper killings were actually the first responding officers? I suppose it's possible. Well, I'm not trying to accuse the cops of anything, and I know you were one of the responders, too. So that's kind of why I was wondering if there might be something there, some grudge. You knew the other cops, right? Do you know if there's any reason to think that Finn might have targeted them? Honestly, I could think of a million reasons. I was in the third precinct, sure, but I got out of there as soon as I could. How do you mean? The place was a hellhole, at least back then. Drugs, bribes, you name it. Those were not good guys. Still? A lot of it cleaned up pretty soon after the Trapper killing. Interesting. Yeah, well, thank you. You've been very helpful, Detective Marnie. No problem. And call me Becky. Thank you, Becky. This is 125 at the 1016. Make an entry. 125 acknowledged. Caution advised. This is the police. Anyone here? Oh, dear oh, God. God. Sir, Sir, can you, can hear, you me? hear me? Showed up, body was rigged. Trap was down. Thank you. 
You don't mean that. Yeah. No. No, somebody has made a mistake. There's no way. I don't think so. Let me see. Stop. Don't let go of me. Becky, stop. It's Calvin. What? Before you go in, you need to know that the victim is Calvin. Excuse me, would you please stay clear of my working area? Thank you. For a woman can piece together, it seems like Calvary brought a prostitute. Oh, God. Brought her back here where, uh, you know. Track her down? I got a partial description. 20s, brunette. Great. Calvary put a whole clip in that wall and hit one thing. The only blood here is his. And then, on some Montesinos. The responder? Calvary's body was rigged. Traps. Fuck. That's a whole clip. clip. If someone cut his throat from behind, behind me, why would he fire this way? And if they did if it from the front, front, why would he miss? miss. Oh, God. oh God. It's really him. Anything? Anything? Nothing useful. Nothing. Becky, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, but I have to ask you this. Please. Where were you Where last were you night? Last I was home. Hello. Hello. Yeah? yeah. So? so. Shh. Sh what? what? You need to be very, very careful how you handle this. Why? Why? You gotta make sure you account for all your whereabouts. Everyone, Everyone knows, knows how you and Calvary felt about each other. Tom. You have to be yeah. careful. Yeah. This isn't, this isn't happening. happening. I wish it was. I hated that fucker, but I would never do something like this. I believe you. You shouldn't have to believe me. That's the end of part one. Check the logbook, fix yourself a drink, and hit the box when you're ready to move on.
And now, part two of Hidden Agenda. Hey, Simon, how you holding on? Hanging in there. A lot of extra work whenever there's a freak on the loose, I guess. Okay, okay, guys, settle down. Listen up. Hey, listen up. We lost a cop today. Another one won't be returning to active duty. And it could have been even worse. I know it's going to be tough on all of us. No one here ever thought we'd see the day that Jack Calvary went down for the count. He, uh... Well, let's be blunt, he wasn't the kind to catch his flies with sugar. But he was one of us. And this atrocity cannot stand. What about the bomb, sir? Was it intended to kill us? We got lucky. The blast exploded outward from the body, so when Hillary moved Calvary, the bulk of the force hit the wall. I'm grateful I still have my hands. Yeah, me too. Montesinos, not so lucky. So you really think this is the trapper? Could be this Adam character. Could be the hooker. Until we have reason to believe otherwise, we are treating this as a trapper copycat. It's entirely possible that Jonathan Finn is somehow pulling the strings from behind bars. We have District Attorney Felicity Graves here to help with the investigation. She is familiar with the Trapper's M.O. She's here to help. Please extend her every courtesy. Detective Marnie, I'm gonna need you to look into Calvary's old Trapper case files. We'll look at the links here, anything we could have missed. Due respect, sir, but I don't think that going through files in a basement is the best use of my time right now. Detective Marty, I'm pretty sure I'm the one who decides what's the best use of your time. Got it? Yes, sir. Got it. Okay, time to get moving. Just remember, Jack Calvary is watching from whatever shithole he ended up in. Let's do him proud. Hi, Miss Grace. How you holding up? It's tough losing one of the ranks, no matter how it goes down. Yeah. But thank I you for thank asking. You. Let you Let know you if you find anything. Do we have a problem? What? Do you really think that I have something to do with this? Peggy, come on. Oh, no, Tom, you come on. Will you move, please? I'm your partner. We have to be honest with each other. Honest? But here's honest. Everybody knows about this beef between you and Calvary. Some of these guys, they don't think you're all there. You've got to start watching out for yourself. Tom, you're accusing me of murdering a fellow officer. You had motive. I'm just doing my job. You're my partner, Tom. How can I forget? We're supposed to be on the same side here. I'm not on your side because I'm your partner. I'm on your side because I'm your friend. And you got more around here than you realize. Why do you think Rick's put you on case review? He just wants me out of the way. Maybe. Or maybe he thinks you'll actually find something. Adam Jones was definitely at Las Palmas, same time as Finn. 
allegedly died in the fire that shut the place down. Now, according to Finn, Jones grew up to be the trapper, but how can that be possible? Doesn't make sense. If these killings are connected to the Las Palmas Orphanage, Father Rominski is at the center of it. It's just too bad that the rest of the clergy took a vow of silence the minute things started to get hairy for him. But Finn told Felicity that Rominski had some kind of secret room at the orphanage. Couldn't find any reference to this in the police records. I guess it's time for me to head over to Las Palmas and take another look. Hello? Hello? Oh, hello ladies. Looks like Father Rominski was a regular customer. Whoa.
Freeze! Don't move! Stop! 